North Pond is a new musical about Joshua Knight, a hermit who lived alone in the woods of Maine for 27 years, stealing from the local town North Pond to survive. The story follows Chelsea Marlowe, a young reporter who comes in and writes Joshua's story. The musical is a dramatization of their interview in a jail cell, interjected with the hermit's memories of his time in his camp, his time in jail, and his trial by jury. Think about the kind of person who, like, like I say in the show, got out of my car the day after I graduated high school, walk as far as I can until I'm in the middle of the woods and just stay there for 20 years, 27 years. Live your life in secret, live the life you chose. Josh is forced to live in a society that he voluntarily chooses to leave. Joshua, I like you. I want to understand. We just might be alike too. I'll try to lend a hand. Throughout the musical, Chelsea has a certain objective uh, distance from Joshua, and she's sort of coldly trying to get things out of him. And so she comes to an interesting crossroads. After meeting and getting to know Joshua, she is forced to start thinking about herself and the things that she is missing and how those things align with what Joshua thought he was missing and the reason that he went into the woods in the first place. Part of Chelsea's progression is the fact that the article kind of goes from this more superficial look at the hermit to something that maybe pushes back against the idea of Joshua as this transcendent natural being. So in addition to the two leads, North Pond has a four-person chorus and a small instrumental ensemble. So in many ways it's a combination of a musical and a chamber opera. And the instrumentalists play music that combines jazz and classical and concert music and traditional music theater and the chorus sings in a way that kind of fuses the two styles. Chelsea speaks much shorter, more clipped, staccatoed in both her singing and her actual speaking, and then Joshua uh, is conservative with his language, uh, but he has read a lot, so when he does speak, it tends to sound like it's from a book. I want Joshua to seem like the biggest person on stage when he's on stage. I want him to demand the stage, yet, we will look into him and he will almost have nothing for us. It's, I think it is a, a play for the thinkier, chattery, busy of the world people. I just like silence encourages discussion over fear. This is an ability to, to, to see just what it is to be still and silent and not need a lot. Um, and it might be uncomfortable, but it'll be good for you. <laughs> <laughs>